Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech DIYs Playground session. Thanks for bringing us to 300 subscribers. And don't forget our target is 100k subs. And this time we are continuing with Mapstruck Slib, uh, which uh, the link for the previous session is available in the I button. So you can press that I button and you can get there. This video is divided into chapters, so you can jump back and forth to chapters of your interest. And yes, before moving, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for prompt notification. As I mentioned, chapters. So these are the chapters. Introduction, mapping with different field names, with different data types, with default expression and few more other features which uh, mapstruck lib provides to us so without further without further ado let's get started and yes frequently used intellij shortcuts will be provided in the description section so we have opened our both the things intellij in the right side and the safari browser in the left side which is uh, pointing to the uh, pointing to the uh, our building site where we uh, found this uh, interesting article which we are following here so uh, what we are doing so in the previous example we have created cardom card dto and we are transforming that uh, via mapper which we have written uh, with the at mapper annotation so we are going to modify that mapper in a way to accommodate our first uh, chapter that is uh, map struct with different uh, names so earlier we had the same names so we we had not uh, written anything apart from just functions uh, declaring the functions but this time since we uh, we are trying this uh, different name so we are giving different field names in uh, cardom and cardto so only first two fields we are going to do like that so that it would be easier to digest also uh, in the video otherwise too many things would be happening then things get complicated here so trying to make things simple we are doing like that so what we have done is and this is the converted test if uh, it this test we have created earlier in the last session and we are going to uh, tweak around tweak it so as to uh, see the things whatever we, whatever we have done so now okay yeah so uh, as you can see what we have done here is in the map struct interface we have set the annotations at mappings annotations or the uh, or, or our transformation de method declarations in the interface and uh, uh, after that what we have done is we have simply run maven clean install and once we do that uh, the after build uh, we will have the target folder is uh, stuffed with our generated class and that is what the first chapter talks about the, don't worry the whole uh, code would be there in the uh, I, I would share that code in uh, with a link so don't worry about that and yeah uh, while doing this uh, session while preparing for this session we face some issues related to lombok and since it lombok is in our code so in previous video also i mentioned about that so i followed th this stack overflow thread for that yeah and uh, the next session is uh, mappings with uh, different data types so this lombok lib supports that also if we are having uh, let's suppose if we are having uh, so in source the data type is different and in destination it's uh, something else so then in that case uh, how can we uh, how can we use lib 
this uh, mapstruck lib so we are going to see that now so let's go to cardom and carditu and modify or add some object there so we what, what we are going to do is we are going to add one more uh, one more uh, field uh, in our cardom and carditu that field is uh, we are simply taking an example of this uh, uh, whatever is given in the tutorial so we are just adding say we are considering date type only for conversion so in dom we are having uh, in dom we are having date type and in the dto or in our entity class we can have uh, mostly in string so that way we are setting it up and we are adding the same field here so we are saying it launch date and to keeping the things uh, segregated i'm just uh, since we have seen the different names earlier itself so now i'm going to i'm going with the same name in both uh, dto and dom so that we are doing now and yeah we need to add the mapping so we are adding those uh, mapping related to uh, related to our launch date field so yeah so that we are adding in our interface and uh, as i mentioned earlier in dto we are having string and uh, with the same name launch date uh, both the places and uh, <coughs> yeah and we are copying that that as source and target and next thing is we are going to uh, add the formatting part uh, which we need to give like this as we are giving in line number 12 we need to add the comma then we need to say date format equal to whatever format we want the date uh, should follow so we are taking this standard format ddmm yyyy hhmm ss so this is the standard format so our code is also going to follow so what will happen is uh, once uh, date will come whatever date is coming we would be expecting that to be in this format so it will do that uh, date formatting thing and it will uh, it will transform that using this uh, extra format formatting part okay so after doing any such change uh, we need to you know we, we need to uh, regenerate the maps uh, map struct class right so what is needed is uh, we we will we will be required to run in uh, mvn install mvn clean install to generate that code now we are tweaking our test case to uh, to accommodate this new date format part so that we are doing here in line number 23 in uh, uh, in our converter test so what we are doing is we are simply adding the simple date format and this we are doing for our uh, expected part in the assertion okay actual would be coming from there and this assertion we are doing here okay so in our cardom we need to set the date first so cardom is actually having the date type so here we need to we are simply taking new date which uh, this function or this initialization of date class will uh, will will default it will set the current date today's date and time okay so it will take that and it will set that into set launch date of cardom and then we are calling our mapper in line number 26 and we are adding uh, in line number 32 we are adding a simple equals assertion uh, with uh, since since we are doing the uh, uh, since we are doing the transformation also so we are in the expected in the expected we need to pass this uh, format dot parse because simple date format uh, we have taken as uh, <coughs> as ddmm by 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 so same thing need to be passed uh, whatever date we are having we are going to have that should be passed into that so that parsing date parsing we are doing here and the actual part also we need to see how the actual part should be coming 
okay so this is the expected part which is which comes in the first argument of result equals and second argument is in is our actual part so actual part is nothing but whatever we are getting from car dto after transformation right so that car dto's uh, get launch date and this uh, launch date both should be same if the transformation executed properly okay so that's what it is that's what we are trying to do we are first trying to match the types of uh, both the both the fields in the dto and dom and then we are checking the assertion whether they whether uh, both of them are asserting equals or not okay so here i'm uh, just gonna since we are going to use it many times this particular format so it's always better in such cases to make a constant and use the constant instead of uh, you know repeating the same thing and so if we want to make any change we can simply go to that constant and we can make the change okay and it will reflect everywhere wherever this has been uh, referred yeah so we are uh, just uh, taking the same name whatever id has provided to us and we and then we are going to the second method uh, which is transformation from uh, from dto to dom and the same thing we will repeat there as well and since uh, dto dto expecting the date in the string format so we are giving some some random date uh, so uh, let let's take today's date only uh, when we are recording the session so the same date we are taking here in the same format whatever is expected there yeah and then we have set the string uh, strings right and then we are again we are uh, adding the format part so the expected uh, field would be uh, this format and uh, this format dot parse whatever the date we are getting going to get in the transformed object that we need to keep here uh, so we are going to uh, add the tweak the or refactor the code so that's what we are doing here and uh, yeah and card dom there it was dom to dto here it is dto to dom so the expected result is d uh, in expected we are passing the dto and in uh, in the other one i mean in the target or the actuals we are having dom there okay so now uh, i hit the goal maven goal and i'm running uh, mvn clean install so id is running my build it's creating the build and it will if everything is fine then my build should be fine and ultimately i should uh, get a target uh, folder should be stuffed with the newly generated class okay with ha with this date format uh, conversion also uh added in the in both of those methods okay so let's see if the things are fine here uh so after since our build is successful now we are going to run the test all the tests in converter test okay it got failed i think uh, now it is saying it failed uh, it could not identify the field name id but name id field is already there so yeah uh, this issue i faced uh, last time as well so i followed that uh, that thread uh, stack overflow thread so we will follow that again and we will try to see how to resolve that okay so now before to that we are just checking if everything is fine in uh, as expected in our dom and dto 
the error is uh, seems to be related to lombok only the lombok stuffing so uh, as i mentioned last time also lombok and map struct uh, the compatibility is uh, i mean is improved only after lombok uh, after map struct's release of you know lombok support for 1.18.6 onwards so we will see that we will see that link again if so we simply checked and we are trying to run it again if build is successful or if we are able to run if we if are if we are able to see our tests are fine or not so build seems to be fine okay now uh, we are just checking whether our tests are executed or not i think since we have not mentioned so uh, our tests are not executed it seems in the mvn clean install so and we are running them separately and yeah this is the class is gen uh, is what is generated so class seems to be generated properly uh, now it has added the launch date uh, field also uh, from line number 24 to 26 okay so that shows that our whatever we wanted to achieve is uh, that is fine now that has properly executed only thing is uh, our tests are failing so we will try to fix the tests okay and that tests are also failing i think because of that uh, lombok and maven lombok and map struct uh, 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 dependencies uh, uh, issues so we need to check in the pom.xml and we will fix that so here we are just checking again uh, the same so it says on java field name id main in uh, did you mean equal to null so let's check if we are not so initially i thought let's set it because we were not setting it so yeah we are trying to set that as well so yeah i mean as per the error this also could be uh, one solution but it did not work so we will see we are trying to rerun it uh, building and rerunning so this is what happens right guys uh, i mean whenever we uh, stuck in such errors or something we used to tweak something and we used to rerun it and uh, that way we will we should try each and every bit of it then only uh, we can come to resolve to some resolution instead of straight away going to that google and do uh, first we should try to uh, try our our get our hands on the things uh, sometimes it it would be some smaller mistakes also so instead of uh, you know giving more time on google googling things it would be better to you know try try uh, these kind of different stuff or these kind of different approaches yeah and uh, last time when uh, we have seen the code uh, it was uh, it was showing like at mappings we can add at mappings annotation under that we can have the at mapping also or uh, at uh, different different map mapping also so that's a kind of array of annotations uh, so or we have the option if we are not having uh, this kind of uh, you know if we are having uh, i mean we can avoid we can avoid also and we can put separate separate uh, at mappings at mapping also annotations also so that's up to us uh, basically so we are trying to build it again let's see if the build is fine yeah build is successful we will try to run that convert test also again mm. 
and the the issue persist actually while recording this session uh, uh in my case what i do uh, is i don't uh, I, uh, I record the screen uh, recording separately and then voice over separately so that's where you guys might have imagined i mean might have thought of uh, uh sync in the operations and actual <laughs> whatever is happening in uh, screen so sometimes i uh, i uh, whatever i def- uh, i I give the voice over is different than what is going on on the screen so i try my i try to keep the things in sim in sync but sometimes it happens so please forgive me for those things <laughs> so now uh, yeah so now as you can see although the uh, things are properly generated in the map struct uh, generated class uh but still our but still our uh, test cases are failing now for every each and every field <laughs> okay so let's see how we need to fix it and it's saying the same error for all of them congrats <laughs> so now we will see it seems the problem is related to as i mentioned earlier as well related to pom.xml so uh uh yeah i mean in this uh, annotation processor paths these arguments also need to be in a certain order that that is what i understood from this thread so we are trying to keep that order as well so first is uh, lombok 1.8 okay we are using 1.18.4 but uh, what is suggested in this thread as well is uh, our uh, lombok version should be above 18.6 or 16 sorry so it should be the version 1.18.16 and above so we have corrected that thing and uh, we are moving this uh, map struct binding lombok map struct binding in the second place uh, okay and the third one final path would part would be uh, this uh, map struct processor so basically this order matters because uh, this is how the things would would happen while building uh, lombok will uh, process and it will generate the pojo classes first then we need the map struct to lombok whatever is generated Uh, to lombok should be provided in the map struct so that will happen and post that if everything is fine then only we would generate uh, the uh, actual map, uh, we would generate the actual uh, generate uh, generate the actual mapper interface class implementation class if in the target folder so that's why we need to keep the things in that particular order okay so now uh we will uh, run the test cases again so yeah so control we are, we are showing doing control shift r and uh, yeah one test case thank god one test case is passed and the other is failed so but failed failed one is also uh, related to date format uh, unparsable date format so let's see how can we fix that unparsable date format this error this particular error comes when the date which we are passing uh, in the dom that is new date is taking a, uh, a specific format and that specific format is different than whatever format we are trying to uh, convert that date into okay so now what we will do is uh, what we will do we will try to um, you know uh, in such cases we need to check the parse uh, format dot parse so that we will check so date format is correct in the both the places so let's uh, let's see what is suggested in the tutorial as well so to it is x as shown in the tutorial things are as shown in the tutorial and now 
here also it's uh, it seems okay let's see So card DOM is expecting a date type and we are passing a date only so that should be fine uh, and the date format is also correct as expected and uh, now <coughs> assertion I think something is wrong in the assertion so let's check that in card DOM dot get date so it would already be in date format and then card DTO is uh, converting that into string I mean card DTO is expecting string so the con if conversion would have happened properly then this should be the case so let's try that parsing parsing is actually expecting string so we are trying to you know uh, pass that format dot parse is a, uh, that method actually expects a string so that also we have tried we have so here what they have done is they have employee entity and employee DT, uh, DTO so they are doing that conversion okay in entity object they are setting the date fine then uh, their assertion we will check their assertion also so this is, seems to be okay and now this seems to be okay maybe I am doing something wrong here so let's see what is that okay So what I have done is uh, DOM we have passed so it's still failing uh, <laughs> I haven't done anything there and tried let me let me try to uh, get the date in this particular format okay but that also didn't work okay so what we will do we will keep uh, the new date we'll pass the current date only but we will uh, fix it don't worry I guess uh, somewhere in the assertion we are doing something wrong not here not while setting the things so we are having assertion card on dot get launch date date so card dto dot, dot get launch date and uh, card dom okay uh, <coughs> yeah so we uh, yeah so exactly the what we have done we have uh, uh, we have written the expected as uh, card dto dot uh, uh, dot uh, get launch date which is a string field so basically we need to pass the string field and the date whatever date is there so that should be uh, that should be checked with the dom uh, get launch date so that was uh, that assertion we have corrected and then it started working properly now the second thing or the next thing is very important default expression if something if for some particular field we are not uh, setting anything then we should have uh, some feature wherein we can you know set something some defaults okay so that uh, in such scenarios we can make use of this uh, particular feature wherein we have this attribute in the annotation at mapping so we are considering for this case we are considering okay if nothing is provided in the automatic uh, field then we will consider the car car type is uh, manual or uh, not automatic basically so the field says uh, it should be either false or true so 
if the car is uh, manual then the field will by default will be uh, false only we, we are considering uh, if the if somebody is not telling about the automatic field uh, not passing the automatic field then we are considering the car type as false only so th that's how uh, these uh, defaults works in real scenarios as well okay so we are adding the default expression here and the default expression we need to add like uh, this so let's see we have added the expression uh, in the both the cases we uh, we we are, we are going to uh, you know move the duplicate and move the things uh, in both the places both the declaration before declaration of both the uh, transformation methods now here we are uh, just commenting out the set part of setting part of uh, automatic field for car type yeah so same mapping I'm doing here as well and uh, expression we will add default expression so we are simply setting false uh, let's see try to run it so we are just duplicating the assertion and changing to automatic for changing it to uh, changing it for automatic so since we are not setting it so in the DTO or DOM both the places it should be uh, false only so why we need to check the equals right so in that case we are having the asserts false uh, assertion so it will simply check the converted object in the converted object uh, the autom automatic field should be uh, false okay so if that is correct then our uh, then our uh, assertion if uh, assert false should be uh, should be true right i mean if uh, nobody if somebody if you don't pass the automatic field then it should be always false so that is what we are trying to tell to the compiler now it is expecting the it is expecting the expression in this format only I mean in the string we need to pass something like Java then we need to say uh, brackets and then we need to pass uh, Java lang boolean dot false yeah because just false is uh, compiler don't understand that <laughs> that way so we need to convey the message in this format only then only compiler will understand okay I need to I mean mapstruct processor will understand okay I need to do I need to set this uh, expression as a default expression whenever there is a null or there is an empty uh, field is passed for automatic uh, field uh, so now build seems to be fine if the build build is fine then our map struct uh, generated class uh, should be updated and yeah we are going to check that one so we are going to uh, convert a test and we will try to run the both the test cases so if everything is fine then we should get all greens uh, we, we are going to run it let's see if things are fine right so we are going in the build view build is, is still happening okay one test case is fine and one is failing okay let's see what is failing okay so actuals and uh, yeah actuals and expected are different so yeah earlier uh, as we have copied this uh, in the from the earlier assertion so we haven't uh, removed the earlier assertion so that's where this exception was coming so that that assertion we have removed now so it should be fine now let's save it and let's uh, you know do a rebuild and we will run that again uh, 
let's see yuppie we have all greens now <laughs> all greens for uh, this case wherein we are checking the default expression uh, and the targeted class uh, target uh, generated class from abstract processor is also it's uh, it's generating the code in this way so it's checking the null and then it's uh, setting that uh, in the else part it's setting the proper uh, code okay so that's about it then uh, lombok support we have already done uh, defining the mapper two things uh, are uh, we ha i have not covered which are uh, defining the abstract classes so that we discuss here in the more features so two more features of this lib one is uh, uh, defining a map uh, one is uh, the feature wherein we can you know define an abstract class uh, instead of interface and that abstract class would be you know uh, we can do some more kind of uh, special transformation as in the example there and then the other thing is before mapping and after mapping annotation so if we want to do some specific things some some specific uh, functions uh, at and before uh, mappings uh, then we can perform them in our abstract class uh, which we are in our mapping abstract, abstract class so that would be uh, covered in these topics so if you are interested to more explore you can try these two things on your own uh, these are uh, I, I i don't think there would be any uh, problem here or you won't face any uh, I think you won't face any issues here okay so here what we have done in the second part wherein uh, the point number 10 it consider it tells about the uh, the point number 10 tells about uh, the enums how can we use enums enum fields there and before and after annotations as I as I mentioned so so these things you can try on your own Thanks for watching guys and uh, it was really good to being with you guys and we are getting your good support that's also good. So don't forget our target is target 100k subs, uh, press the bell icon, like, share and press the bell icon for prompt notification and don't forget to select all to get our all notifications and yeah. We'll meet in an yet another session and have a great, great life. Bye.